Welcome to Off Grid Contracting. Guys, in today's video, I want to show you this is a uh, houseboat install that we're doing, um, or a party cruiser, and kind of a mini houseboat, I guess you could say. And um, right there is a overall view of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you up on the roof, show you the solar that we added to the already existing system, and then I'm going to show you the redo that we done because there was a lot of reworking we had to do on this because the customer that actually purchased this from somebody that had it in the past, they had done all sorts of stuff in the past. This is just crazy. So we refitted the old solar back down properly, and then we put brand new uh, solar system onto it. We reinstalled uh, a fresh battery bank, tied the old inverter in, um, done a lot of new things to it. So I'll take you on the roof, we'll show you that, and then I'm step inside and show you the finished work that we're finishing up right now because uh, Kevin's helping me today. Uh, on this project. So here you can see the finish work. Um, we redressed the wires that were already there uh, from the previous solar system that was installed and we routed our wiring for the customer's new solar which is two 270 watt uh, Pymar modules and um, we wired that in, ran those drops out the front where that it's out of sight and out of mind and uh, reused the same access area and so with that said and done, now the customer has roughly 640 watts of power, I believe. is. Uh, and um, now when, when the customer is out on the lake, um, obviously, you know, the, the one panels have a tilt on them. So these are flat. So hopefully, you know, they'll catch the, the solar all day long as opposed to where the ones were oriented um, backwards of that. Um, but anyway, the customer can easily access their roof now and go and walk out and adjust their lighting or anything like that if needed. And uh, there's Kevin made an appearance. And so we'll go inside and we'll show you the finished work we've done in there. All right, now this is a little dark back here, but um, the customer has, um, actually, I, I don't know if it's visible at all, honestly, because it's so dark. Let me, my flashlight here. Okay, so inside the boat here, um, we have the main power circuitry, and what we've got now is the ability for the customer shore power to come in, and also for the um, solar up front to feed in. There used to be a mess right here on this wall, um, and I'll show you what that mess looked like um, right here. There was another charge controller we actually salvaged, but it was ran with like Romex wire, and it was ran all sorts of uh, mismatched cables. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why if you're gonna do your stuff yourself, you know, make sure to get a really good understanding of it before you do it or either get a professional out to do it. And so anyway, um, AC switch boxes, AC switches, just all sorts of stuff, uh, AC cord cuts, spliced. And so anyway, that was, uh, that was all that mess. So we cleaned all that up, all the DC is up front now and properly ran. And here's an example. The DC is definitely circuitry is back in line. And then I'll turn the inverter on here in just a second and turn the AC on. We'll run the air conditioning in the freezing cold. <laughs> so Kevin right here has got um, some of our craftsmanship today. Me and him had to figure out how to fit a two foot by roughly two foot double 40 amp um, OTG board from Hurricane Wind Power into this uh, compartment. And then we retrofitted the uh, Windy Nation charge controller over to it. So I'm going to actually spin the camera here so you can see. And this is the setup. And then, of course, the breaker box. And the wiring, we, we still routed the wire back from where the, the customer wanted it. And then that drops in. It hides behind the cushion. Well, that's going back in place. I'll show you over here. This is the battery bank. We just made the final connection on it and we're gonna spray that our protective coating on it. But this is all of the uh, solar back in place. There was multitudes of mismatched batteries and etc. cetera. And um, we've got that back. And then here is the customer inverter um, hidden back and up under there. And so pretty much uh, that has got all that in place. So here in just a second, we'll button all this up and show you the what it looks like. And so guys, here's the uh, final finish. Um, as you can see, all the seats are back. This one's getting moved right now, but all the seats are back like they're supposed to be. You never even know anything's in there. So, you know, over here in the corner, you got battery bank. Behind me, you got the inverter. Charging system's there. This one's extra storage. 
and uh, the regular starting battery and all that stuff's back there and uh, you know as I showed you earlier the inverter system that runs this is up there but now however I have not hit the on button on that yet and showed you all so we'll do that right now and there you go customers ready to stay cool um, whenever hot summer comes again and out on the lake so guys that's that pretty much wraps it up uh, I want to say a special thank you to Kevin O'Brien here he's done a phenomenal job helping today and uh, if you're interested in going off grid make sure to check us out at offgridcontracting.com and until I see you again I look forward to working for you